What up, guys? Annie Tier Guild Forever gonna be reacting, not reacting, but reviewing Smallville season two episodes. I think it was four, five, and six. Yes, yes, that's the order. Uh, Danny, sorry if this came out a little later uh, than sooner. I was gonna originally get this out yesterday, but internet, electricity, something happened. But anyway, yeah, I got it out. Uh, this, uh, these episodes were thanks to the generous donation of Danny. Um, make sure you thank him if you're thankful for seeing these episodes right here. Make sure you thank Danny in the comment section down below. Letting you know you appreciate what he did. Alright? So, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's good seeing Smallville again. I love this series. The early 2000 vibes just speak so much volume to me. I feel like anyone that loves the early 2000s would love it. Uh, me, me personally... The early 2000s, I remember, were one of the best years of my life. Like, I definitely enjoyed my early childhood years in the 2000s. And this just makes me remember everything about it. And it's just so near and dear to my heart. Like, honestly. I mean, like, I'm not sure those who are aware, but I'm a massive Superman fan. Like, more often than not, I like Batman and Superman more or less equally. But if I had to pick one... Like, if I had to pick one, some people may attack me for it. Some people would think, like, oh, you, you're you just a Boy Scout or you just like the Boy Scout. Look, I love, I love Superman, okay? Superman, for me, just felt so much more inspirational as a DC hero than Batman. Like, I still love Batman and how he's represented. I feel like, for me, Batman was considered, like, the first edgelord in DC <laughs> period but I don't know there's something about Clark Kent that I like as a character more so than Bat. Like again don't get it twisted I still love Batman as a character but I don't know it's just for me I feel like I'm closer to the character Clark Kent uh, Kal-El Superman the Kryptonian like whatever you want to call him and I'm not gonna lie to you these episodes were amazing of course, it's Smallville. They're always good, you know. But the first episode was really, really hard to watch. I mean, I get it. It is what it is. It was still entertaining. But just seeing Clark attack his parents, acting the way he did because of that stupid red stone. Now we know. Keep him absolutely away from red stone because it turns him into by far the most messed up kid you can ever see. Like, like he becomes he becomes a monster destructive aggressive just flat out not Clark and seeing how he acted seeing how he treated everyone else around him especially his father man that was tough but he almost destroyed his relationship uh, relationship well I don't want to say his friendship his friendship with Lana but I'm not gonna lie to you though she was not complaining you saw the way he kissed her and she was like I already know that girl wanted the Clark Kent she wanted the Superman okay again I saw the way she kissed him bro like she was loving it okay Lana, you can be as innocent as you want, but I know you <laughs> you were thirsty for the Clark Kent. But he, he ended up overdoing it and becoming a massive asshole, which, thank goodness, man. They were smart, though. They were like, show him the kryptonite and bam, he'll he'll be weak. And then they'll easily get the, the ring off of him. <laughs> Did more than that. Freaking... His father destroyed the, the Red Stone. Thank goodness, though. Thank goodness. Good to see Clark the, back the way he was. Uh, uh, the thing... A lot of major things happen after this. I'm going to just say this right now. He almost destroyed his relationship with Lana, but it seems like it's been repaired. So that's a good thing out of it. That's the one thing I'll get out of this. Their relationship was... Re their friendship was repaired. The one downside to this, though, is that Cl Lex's father knows that Clark is a remarkable, ma remarkable man, quote unquote, his words, and because of that, he may look more into Clark. Might discover something about him. Basically, what Lex was doing with Clark early on in Smallville this is going to be his father this time.
What a huge mess. <sighs> I know sooner or later something is going to come of it. Some, some, Sometime soon, but all we can do is wait and see. But either way, um, it was fantastic to see and everything worked out. And then the following episode after that with the whole freaking, freaking Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde mother trucker exposed to the sun. I, I don't know why. I thought it was going to be some kind of werewolf deal. But no, it really it really did feel like some Dr. Jek Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde stuff. I don't know. But he became a savage, a loose cannon, a creature. And ultimately... <laughs> To be honest, though, I actually thought, like, throughout the majority of the episode that Lana and this guy were kind of going to be a thing. Kind of like replacing the whole situation with uh, Jesse, you know? Since Jesse and Lana pretty much broke up. Jesse's doing his own thing. Lana, too. When these two, um, Byron and uh, Lana, were talking and getting a connection, I low-key thought he was going to be the new Jesse. And then Clark basically has to deal with this dude. And try to win back Lana. Well, I say win back, but I don't think they ever became anything. There was the kiss, but that is as far as it went. Which I'm gonna call it. So yeah, like either way, um, that's what I ultimately thought was gonna happen, but it didn't. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get it. It's like, buddy, you broke my wrist, and uh, you're you're kind of you're kind of a crazy nutcase, low key. I mean, like him, his own personality, he's fine. For me, it was kind of like this. She did kind of have hopes for the guy. They did kind of had a connection. But I guess the point is, he comes with a lot of baggage. And that's she doesn't want to be dealing with that. So that's my opinion. But in the end, what it ultimately did is, he ended up becoming, becoming the medium to repairing the friendship between Lana and Clark. And everything worked out. <coughs> Um, wonder if we're gonna see him anytime later in the future though, but thank Lex's father for the birth of that monstrosity. Pro uh, apologize guys, it's a little late. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep in a bit, so um yeah, after I'm done with this I'm going to bed. But yeah. And anyway, finally proceeding to the latest episode, if you clearly can tell we just saw. Uh, a lot, a lo it was actually a convoluted sorts because a lot of things happen in the last episode I saw with, um, Clark and the family trying to, well, I say trying to, but it's mostly Clark and his mother trying to basically bring grandpa into their lives. But the fa uh, Clark's father, as well as grandfather, they have some disputes with one another. And honestly... It was pretty bad. I don't think it's the degree of like having like a freaking spaceship in the basement, but there was some craziness there. There definitely was some craziness there going on between them. Bad blood, you could say. And there, there's honestly no way to really repair it right now. Because I... They're just so at arms with one another that there's never a time to really like sit down, reflect, talk, try to get some mutual grounds going, but they don't want to. They're still held up by their own 20 year past grudge that they're, they fail to see that it's already over. Instead of focusing in, instead of being neck deep in the past, why not do, why not try to make something out of their present? Maybe even have a good future with the family. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, Clark and his grandfather can still probably make a relationship happen between them. Like, you know, grandson, grandfather. And yeah, that could probably, that something could probably happen there. Um, between the father and the grandfather, I'm not sure about that. Ooh, son of a bitch. Ugh. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, guys. Sorry again, once again. Sorry, sorry. A little tired, but uh, I think I'm gonna end it right here. Yeah, I feel like that's a good bit to go on. I know there was a whole situation with uh, Lex's former teacher and that little drama there, and then freaking aging uh, Chrissy, 
I'm not gonna lie to you, this aging Chrissy girl really wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, she was a problem, but the problem I feel like ultimately sorted itself out. She wasn't a big, for me, it was the whole grandfather situation that was um, the bigger issue in this episode. But either way, we'll see what happens between Clark and his grandfather. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. See you guys all later, and peace. I'm out.